I'm at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show with probably the most important vehicle introduction for 2021. That right behind me, as you can see, I'd like to call that the money shot, is the completely all-electric 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. As you can see, that trunk is massive. It measures around 14 cubic feet. It'll hold a maximum of 400 pounds. And this is my first time seeing the truck in person. So let's finally take a first look. So now that I have the new F-150 Lightning in person, let's first examine the frunk of this vehicle. Ford calls it a massive power frunk. It's optional, or the power feature is optional on certain trims. This one here is the Lariat. And as you can see, it's even bigger in person when I look at it. Ford says it measures around 400 liters or 14 cubic feet. It'll hold a maximum of 400 pounds on the floor. And there's even a nifty little feature here where you can lift this area and it has some underfloor storage. There's four power, power outlets over here and two USB ports because remember this has their pro power on board system because this is all electric. And you can also um, use this as a cool box. And really it's a game changer in the industry because they offer covered storage in the front. That's typically something that you don't find on a pickup truck. So one of the unique features about the Lightning is the fact that it doesn't need a grill. So you can see the unique or the traditional Ford grill here is just kind of closed off all for aerodynamics. You have these unique LED headlights that's included on every Lightning, even the base version. You can see you've got LED low and high beams. You have a unique LED turn signal and LED daytime running lights. This particular one is the Lariat trim, like I mentioned earlier, painted in this very, very pretty shade of blue. This is a truck that looks very conventional. As you can see, seeing it in person, it looks like a regular F-150 to me, minus, of course, the unique grille and headlights. The wheels, you can see, uh, these are the 20 inch wheel. I feel, I believe Ford will go up to a 22. I'll have to double check that. You can see they have more of an aerodynamic design to them. Uh, this is also the first F-150 that has a, an independent rear suspension uh, because of the design of this vehicle. Remember, the batteries kind of make up the entire floor of this truck, which keeps the weight down low. Now, Ford is only offering the Lightning in a crew cab configuration with a five and a half foot bed. You can see the charge port for this vehicle is actually on the driver's side. This is just here to, for looks to complete like the look with the charge port door on the other side. And just like a regular F-150, you can see it has that unique look here that came off of the Super Duty a few years ago. The four full-size doors really add a lot of versatility. And you can see looking at the back, this vehicle is about the same length as a standard F-150. So you're really not giving up anything here, although aside from the unique Lightning badge, I think Ford did a fantastic job with making this truck appear like an electric truck, but also not alienating a lot of its customer bases. Now, looking at the bed, you can see here, Ford says the bed will carry a maximum of 2,000 pounds of payload back here. You can see this one here has the spray and bed liner. You have that pro power on board system where this vehicle, if your power runs out at your house or goes out, you can charge your home for up to, or you can power your home for up to three days. That's with using all of the power that you probably need. If you conserve power, Ford says it'll lack a maximum of uh, 10 days, depending on, of course, your area and how much power you're going to be using. So now that I'm seeing the new truck in person, let's finally take a look at the interior. And as you can see, the interior of this vehicle, if you guys have spent some time in the new Mach-E, it's gonna feel very familiar because it has the largest touchscreen ever and an F-150. Now you can see the Lariat trim here is kind of the mid trim. There is an upper platinum grade above this one here that'll give you even more luxury and tech. But you can see here, this is a very familiar place to spend time, but it also looks a lot more special versus the standard F-150. This has those features like the center console here that lifts out or that folds out into a table with that gear selector that folds in. When I get into the truck, I really like this running board here with the grab handle. It allows short people like myself to get in pretty easily. And then when I come over here and shut the door, the door has a nice solid sounding thunk to it. Now look at this massive screen. In fact, this truck has the same screen, the SYNC 4A system, a 15.5 inch screen that you get in the Mach-E. And I have to say, it looks very, very impressive in this truck, very befitting in a, car, in a vehicle that has this massive dash. You also have a 12.3 inch uh, LCD display here for the instrument panel. Essentially the same steering wheel. The steering wheel itself is tilt and telescoping. I imagine the platinum grade may offer a power folding or power option for the uh, adjustments. And again, like I said earlier, you've got this power gear shifter that controls the one speed transmission that can fold out if you guys wanna actually open up this to create a table. The SYNC 4A system you can see will include over the air updates. It has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And just like in the Mach-E, you have all these different driving modes. There's a one pedal drive option. You can adjust the ambient lighting. You can pull up the cameras here. You can see the full 360 camera. It looks fantastic, great resolution. Uh, and it's really what you need in a vehicle like this because of how uh, large it is. Now, Ford did give you a dedicated volume button here. You can adjust the climate controls from there. You have some dedicated hard buttons over here, wireless phone charger there. 
Uh, and the materials over here, you can see you've got this leather, sort of leatherish material with some faux stitching. This is hard touch plastic here on the upper portion, but remember this is a very early prototype. So I'm gonna have to wait until I see a full production version of this truck to decide uh, if what the, the final materials are. You can see going over here, you can pull that up and you can find all your usual sources over here. There's your CarPlay, you've got your built-in GPS with this vehicle. As you can see, pretty decent graphics. Ford has done a really good job here with their latest system. So if you haven't spent any time in a Ford lately, you really need to see their latest Sync 4A system. This is their absolute newest system. Lower versions of the Lightning will have a smaller 12 inch display with Sync 4. That's the same system that you find, of course, in the regular F-150 hybrid. And just like the other F-150 models, there's a crap ton of space in here. You can see I can't even reach the other side, uh, but I'm not a very tall person in general. There's still dual glove boxes here, so you haven't really lost any of the functionality that you expect. The seats are pretty comfortable and supportive. I imagine Ford is gonna offer the massaging and heated and cooled feature. This uh, Lariat version, I don't see if I, I don't see that on this version. I only see heated seats, although actually, no, just kidding, there's the cooled function. So it's all in the screen display here, which is nice because Ford has kind of gotten rid of the hard buttons and they want you to put everything, of course, in the screen over here. Opening up the center console, you can see there's a pretty good amount of storage in here. Ford says you can basically store a laptop or your ba a bag in there, a purse in there. Uh, and like I said earlier, my favorite feature probably has to be this massive table that it, this creates where you can eat your lunch in here, you can set up a workstation. So this is gonna make using this vehicle out on site at job locations very easy, especially for a lot of contractors. Now, just like the standard F-150, the legroom in the back seat is massive. I believe there's around 44 inches of total legroom back here. The seats you can see still offer the ways that you can fold this up. You can create a little bit of a nice load floor or flat area here if you wanna put stuff back here. Although most people are probably going to be using the massive frunk. You can see when I get back here, completely flat floor. I do notice the floor feels a little bit higher. Remember the battery pack lines the floor of this truck. So the floor does feel a little bit higher, but there's still plenty of headroom back here. My tester is missing a sunroof, which I imagine will be available on other trims. Materials back here, you can see same as the front is a soft touch injection molded plastic with some fake stitching over there. You have rear seat air vents, you have he heated rear seats, massively wide vehicles. So you can fit three people across easily and really just this open and airy environment along with the way this looks here from the back seat just makes this truck look incredibly futuristic. So Ford Bravo has done a fantastic job with this new F-150 Lightning. Now we can't talk about an electric truck without talking about the specs. Now, obviously there's no motor to show you guys. Ford is gonna be offering two different battery packs, a standard and an extended range. Ford also did not disclose how large the battery packs are. They did say, however, with the dual charging system on board, you should be able to recharge this vehicle overnight in around eight to 10 hours, which they claim is faster than some of their competitors. Range is gonna sit, of course, at 230 miles and 300 miles if you guys go for the extended range battery pack. The uh, base version, of course, with extender battery will offer up to 426 horsepower. Um, that one is gonna be included with the standard range battery pack. If you guys upgrade to the larger battery, pa battery pack, it offers up to 569 horsepower. That's the one that'll, that'll do zero to 60 in around four and a half seconds. Both models will have 775 pound-feet of torque. So this is, again, the most powerful production F-150 ever. It has more horsepower and torque versus the uh, F-150 SVT Raptor, which the new version actually hasn't gone on sale just yet. No transmission, obviously. This is an all-electric truck. And Ford says it'll tow a maximum of 10,000 pounds if you guys go for the extended range battery pack and option in the max trailer tow package. So if you guys are looking to purchase the all-new F-150 Lightning, Ford is actually taking reservations now on their website for $100. It'll essentially put your place in line. However, you're going to have to wait a little bit because Ford is not starting deliveries of this new truck until mid-2022, uh, spring 2022. And that's really where this is a kind of gonna be a game changer because with that massive frunk, with the amount of range that Ford offers, Ford says that range they tested is probably going to be conservative. So we'll be interested to see how this does in the real world. And with zero to 60 and under, uh, five seconds, four and a half seconds, all of that tech on the inside and a conventional look on the outside. This is going to be a truck that a lot of people are going to be taking a look at, especially if you've been apprehensive about electric vehicles. Electric cars are the future. And now that we're seeing it, of course, on America's best-selling vehicle, the world's best-selling vehicle, only a matter of, it's only gonna be a matter of time before we see more and more EVs coming to market in the next five years. And this is really the start of it all. And remember, this truck starts at around 39,974, just under 40 grand, of course, for the base work truck version. The XLT, the consumer version, is gonna start at around $52,000. If fully loaded versions of this truck are going to be around 90 grand, which is pretty expensive, but keep in mind, you can get a gas-powered F-150 hybrid, a power boost model, to be right around $75,000. So really, Ford is charging a $10,000 premium for the electric version, and that's before 
the $7,500 federal tax credit. So this is going to be a hot truck. I imagine Ford's going to be selling every one of these that they can build. And I'm just really super looking forward to getting behind the wheel of this vehicle. Remember, it's going to be going head to head with trucks like the Cybertruck and of course the Rivian uh, R1T. There's going to be so many new electric trucks coming. Ram just unveiled an electric version of the Ram truck that's coming as well. And we all know that GM is going to be working on something for the Silverado and the Sierra, but we, we already have confirmation of the GMC Hummer EV, which is going to be well over $100,000 when that goes on sale sometime late next year. But with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed my first look overview here at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show on the all new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews. Like us on Facebook. And as always, guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.